Welcome to our new video series, Inside Lamplighters. During this series of webinars, we're going to be exploring some of the most frequently asked questions by our parents and community members about what we do at Lamplighters. So come on inside. Welcome to our teacher room, where a lot of the control center of the school happens. As we go into the teacher room, we're going to start exploring the very first question during this webinar series, which is, how does Lamplighters use technology to gather evidence to individualize education for each child in our school? And we're going to begin here with the whole school on camera. In order to individualize for each of our students, we need to be able to measure and gather data about the school as a whole, about classroom ecology, also about student ecology and how students are interacting with one another, with the work that they're doing, with the activities that they're managing in the classroom, the objects and materials they're using, and also gather data about how they work best. So one of the ways that we start with is by wiring up each classroom with high definition cameras. The cameras allow us to be able to look on a bird's eye view of what happens in a classroom. Let me show you an example. Let's look at this classroom. This is the EB2 boys classroom. And it happens to be that this classroom has two or three, three cameras in different discrete places around the room. We can see here that there's obviously a group lesson going on. So we can see from an ecological perspective how the lesson is structured within the classroom. If we want to look at a closer view of that classroom, we could actually go in and click on a camera that shows right above a lesson and even listen to some of the sound about what's going on there. During this lesson, we could watch which boys are interacting, which boys appear to not be focused, which boys are interacting with each other versus interacting with the teacher, and how the teacher is delivering the lesson. This allows us to also coach teachers on how to give lessons best. Some other things we can see on the camera when we're looking at a whole is we can see at different times a day across the spectrum of the school how different classrooms are going through the same cycles of work, rest, transition, lunch, going outside as a whole. And how, why would this be important from a school perspective? We gather a lot of measurement per metrics about the school so that we understand the whole cycle of a school year. On days, for example, when the weather is different, the whole school as a whole looks different on camera. I bet you didn't even know how interesting that could be to track weather versus how students are feeling. We all know that as adults. Another thing that we can look at when we're actually looking at the cameras is how groups form. Let's look at the girls' elementary class. And we can scroll around a little bit with the camera and see how some children choose to sit at tables versus some children sitting at the floor. We could also see which children happen to be moving about the room and don't seem to be engaged actively in different activities. If that becomes a pattern, it's something we could actually start tracking by using the camera and watching with our bird's eye view. So the camera can be used again for several different things. One, gathering data for school-wide parametrics. Another, coaching teachers to give better lessons. Another, following individual students and groups of students to see how they're interacting with one another and how they're interacting with materials. Another technology we use at Lamplighters is WhatsApp. WhatsApp is all about communication. Communication between the school and teachers, communication among teachers about student cases, and communication with everyone involved in a particular student's case. For example, we have permission from the C family to look at a Remy's parent-teacher thread on WhatsApp. You can see from this thread that there are a whole variety of different types of posts. Posts that have to do with beautiful evidence of work. For example, his Xiva work. Examples of milestones in which he was evaluated for a particular stage in Chomesh and the um, teachers wanted to share the Nachlas with parents. Examples of ideas that students had, like for example, of Remy's idea to make a simple machine out of the imagination playground and a quick video so parents could share in that, in that moment. Also, we use it for all types of communication that have to do with simple things like bring your homework binder back <laughs> or bring your test binder back. Some of the other threads that we use in WhatsApp, and by the way, we have over 220 of them, of which I'm an administrator in each one, is that we have roundtable discussions among teachers of a particular classroom or a particular division. For example, lower elementary girls or lower, lower elementary boys. We use that for curriculum development. We use that to discuss certain student cases. And one of the best parts about having roundtable discussions like that is that it includes um, 
teachers that may have been involved in a student's um, education in previous years. And they can all weigh in together about the whole journey that the child has taken over the course of several years. And it could be that teachers from a year or two years ago have some ideas about what works or what doesn't work with a child. And this gives them a forum to be able to all communicate together. Um, the final thing that we use WhatsApp groups for is for being able to track internal data collection that we do about particular students' cases. So for example, if our behavioral scientist is involved or our OT or speech therapist and we all want to talk about some fine-grained um, data that we're collecting about a certain student, we could do that all together and then discuss it in a meeting, especially our case-by-case -case meetings, which we'll talk about a little bit later in this, in this web. Here we are in the EB4 class where we can observe a student using the tablet in order to be able to do Chumash instruction. Here Avraham is working on Chumash, while other boys are working on their summaries, while still another boy is probably working on math. While at the same time, we could have some students learning Gemara with a teacher, with a Rebbe, and even have one preschooler working on advanced literacy at the same time. Now we're in the upper elementary girls class. Let's take a look at how some students could be using technology and other students could be working with teachers or individually on written work all at the same time. And it enables each child to be able to work at their own pace and do their own activity in their own order. Writing, spelling, reading comprehension. Math. Chumash. So where does all this information that we gather from the classrooms um, through the use of technology end up? It ends up in the student's learner profile. And we do this during our case-by-case -case meetings that we have about each student every month. This is after school now. We are in a case-by-case -case meeting with the third floor preschool teachers. And we're discussing the Korea progress of one of our students, as well as all the things that we've learned about her in the last month of work habits, as well as um, self-regulation, as well as any issues we might want to bring up, and action items that we're going to make for the next month to make sure that we have a strategy that's customized just for her. As you can see, the teachers are looking at her current case by case, writing down information about her work habits, her academic activity, interpersonal relationships. And then here we have Rabbi Shapira recording everything in real time straight into her learner profile. We also review any video evidence or photo evidence that we've collected about the students' work or about things that we've seen on the cameras to add into that learner portfolio. The learner portfolio fills out all year and that way we have an a real active way of being able to see how the child has changed and improved over the course of the entire year.